Hello and welcome to the video. Today I want to show you one of my favorite games of all times and in my opinion one of the best survival games ever created, Valheim. I've been playing this game pretty much since the day it was released. I completed it multiple times and this time I decided to play it uh, with a bunch of mods to find out if mods actually make this game better or not. So uh, I installed around 70 mods and I have no idea what they do. We're gonna we, we're gonna learn this together. We're gonna find out. But uh, hopefully this is gonna be a fun and maybe even helpful series. Uh, if you want to see more videos of this series, subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna give you uh, pretty much gonna share all the experience I got from playing this game for many many times. So we landed. This bird, honestly, he, he says a lot of things. I know everything he says, so I'm not even gonna bother. So you can right away see the location of the first boss. We're not gonna fight him just yet, but we are gonna mark his location by clicking on that runestone. And uh, now I'm completely naked. So uh, let me show a few, mods, a few mods that we have. So inventory, here we have... Uh, I forgot the name of this mod. If, if anybody's interested which mods I'm using, I can make a separate video on it. So basically, this one gives you three hot slots where you usually put some food and you have slots for armor. So this serves two purposes. First, it allows you to always know where your armor and food is. Second, it's just so much easier. Uh, like your inventory basically gains eight extra slots, which is super helpful. So first, I need a weapon. In Valheim, it's very important to collect everything, especially in the beginning, everything that you find. Uh, and uh, berries can be pretty challenging to find, so what I like to do... Uh, this might not be a popular choice because it kind of decreases the quality of the game, but I turn off vegetation. This basically allows me to find uh, the bushes much more easily. Again, I do it mostly in the beginning because in the beginning you need everything you can possibly get because berries are going to be your first source of food. Uh, so let's collect a few uh, a few wood, pieces of wood and a few stones and make our first weapon. We see some creatures here. I'm not ready to fight them yet, so they're not too strong. I, I am going to eat one berry just so my health regenerates a little bit and I have some extra stamina. Look at that horsey. We have horses now. Beautiful. I think we can tame them. This is, again, this is not a vanilla thing in Valheim. Uh, horses do not exist in... in oh, rabbits. <laughs> they do not exist in an actual game, uh, but they do exist thanks to some mods that we installed. Beautiful. Look how many berries I just got. These creatures, graylings, uh, they're going to be chasing you. They, they're going to be throwing stuff at you, but they're not very dangerous. So you should be just fine. And this is the worst kind of enemy you're going to find uh, during the uh, day inside Meadows Biome, which is the one that you start in. So you shouldn't be worried. You can just keep running and they're not going to be able to hurt you. They're going to throw some rocks on you, but it's okay. So when you just start a game, basically gathering is the name of the game. Once you got decent amount of stones, uh, stones and uh, wood, you're going to craft your first weapon. I mean, you could try to beat the Grayling with your fists or make a club, but in my opinion, you might as well just start with uh, an axe. So we're going to craft an axe and we're going to craft a hammer right now. Also, you have a torch, but it's just my personal preference. I just prefer an axe. So I have a mod installed that gives me a chance to drop items when I kill things. So, so let's test this out. Let's find let's find his Grayling and kill him, and maybe we're going to get a drop. You can get rare drops, you can get epic drops, legendary drops, uh, lots of stuff. Also need to be very careful not to overload myself, because... What is this? It's a chicken! Damn! We got some raw chicken. That's new! See, this is... I feel like if, if you play Valheim a couple of times, it might become a little bit repetitive, but that's why we have thousands of mods online that can help the game feel completely different. I'm gonna get some chickens. I wonder if you can tame chickens. It says wild, so I'm assuming there's gonna be a way to tame them. 
which is super cool. I wonder if chickens can drop weapons from them. Anyway, so uh, I got decent amount of stuff. Now it's it's time to go and try and find uh, the place for our first base. So how do I find a place uh, for the first base? Uh, first of all, I want I want the base to be uh, nearby from the Black Forest because Black Forest is gonna you, you're gonna spend there a lot of time in Black Forest. So. Uh, we're gonna go find Black Forest and build build the base. Still not in Black Forest because it's gonna be very annoying. All the enemies that spawn there, but we're gonna build it near the Black Forest and near water, but inside the meadows. These are our requirements. So let's go and find a spot like this. Also have a mod that increases uh, the stack of items and also the weight of items. Again, if you want, uh, like. I, I'm probably gonna tweak this because this seems a little bit too OP. You can, it, it feels like you can carry pretty much unlimited stuff, so it, it, it feels a little bit cheaty. So I'm gonna tweak the settings of these mods for the next video, but for now, it, it's just gonna do. Also, what I like to do if I find a spot that has lots of mushrooms or berries in the same spot, I like. So what I like to do, I go to the map, and uh, we're gonna add, let's say, a dot here and call it shrooms. So if you're in this area and you see this dot, you might as well swing by and collect some mushrooms. Okay, I made some changes to the mode that is called item stacks. So uh, by default, it basically uh, makes everything 10 times lighter and your inventory five times bigger, the slot size. I made it basically double the slot size and only half the weight. This way it's going to be still pretty challenging, but less challenging than the original game. And uh, one of the biggest sources of frustration <laughs> for a lot of people in uh, the vanilla version of Valheim, I believe, is uh, basically an ability to carry as many items as you want and at once, especially until you find the trader and get yourself uh, the belt that increases your weight. But uh, I think we're going to be doing just fine with this, these modifiers. Again, this is not a vanilla playthrough. But also, I, I don't want it to be too easy at the same time. All right, let's find our base. Ah, come on, deer. Come back. There you go, our first deer. That is beautiful. And necks. We, I, I would like myself some necks. Necks give you very, very nice tails. Also, flint. Flint is going to be extremely needed and useful. So, that's why running along the water as you're searching the place for your base is very beneficial. I'm sorry, horsey. I just want to know what drops from you. I didn't mean to. Ooh, what is this? Horse hide and horse meat. Interesting. Again, that's not in the original game. That's why I just, I just wanted to know. Okay, we found a house. Houses sometimes have bees. And bees are very important. Now, okay, you, you don't want to die from bees, though. But So, for now... I'm just gonna loot this chest box. So it's a nice place where you can build a little fire. Uh, it doesn't have to be your base. Smokeless fire pit. Now that sounds a little bit too cheaty, so I'm not gonna do that. We're, we're gonna make this our first mini base. We're gonna put some fire, we're gonna put a workstation, and uh, maybe craft a few things. I wanna cook a few meats that I collected. Flint throwing axe. All right, this this might be a good uh, alternative to the bow until I get more deer hides. So let's see how this works. Aha! Look at that. This is how you throw it. We're gonna kill these bees. Okay, here you go. Now we got a bee. Now we can build uh, a beehive when we f uh, make our base. All right, uh, I think I cooked everything I had. I have a bunch of food, so now I can actually eat and heal and have much more stamina and health. Uh, I'm ready to move on. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this area at all, because look how how mountainy it is. Like, you want a flat area to build your first base. This, this just doesn't look good. What the hell is this? Hello, Mr. Pig. Give me some meats. Oh, we have two axes right now. This is sick. Oh, 
Oh my god, I just got a lot of stuff. So the boar meat and pork. Beautiful, and we can craft our first bow, finally. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing the Black Forest, the beginnings of Black Forest. And we're near water. This might be good. Oh, this is a this is a big boy grayling. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with him. He's red. And we got a house in here. That is convenient. Ooh, one star boar. This is kind of dangerous. Okay, come here. Come here, boy. Come here. I'm gonna mess you up. Oh my god, this thing is here. Okay, we might die. And I, 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 I haven't saved myself in the bed, so we better get in. So this looks like a pretty decent starter base. It's it makes total sense to have your starter bases near uh, near the areas uh, like it doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want to be outside during the night. It's just a little bit too dangerous. We're gonna put a bed here, and hopefully this thing is gonna let us sleep because I kind of want to get saved in here. The fire should scare him, so we're gonna try to scare him away. Run. Two stars. This one, this boy is just gonna wreck us into, into pieces. I can try to throw things at him. I, I, can, I can't try to defeat him. I have 13 throwing things. But I don't have a shield to parry. I think he's gonna one-shot me. Oh, spawn, spawn point set. I don't have to sleep in it to set spawn point. Okay, now we're good. So now, once you are saved your location... Let's see if we can kill this guy. This is going to be a fight of the century. Oh my god, I barely do damage to this man. Ooh. Okay. Let's try this. I kicked I, I kick the freaking... That's, this was bad. Can I even parry with this, with, with, with the thing? Ooh! I can actually parry. I think we can take this guy. Bring it on. Well. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Not like this. Oh my god, he's one shot. But I'm also one shot. How do we not die? You know what? We're gonna unequip this and just try to throw a few things at him. Here we go. One more. One more. There you go. Two star is down. That's right. Oh, and we just got a magic, magic drop. We got a rare torch. Durability plus 80%. Again, not a huge fan of torches, so I'm not super excited about it. But at least now I can finally sleep. Fantastic. Let's let's make some fire. So we can have a nice shelter in here. And then let's go to sleep. Oh, this is beautiful. This was a very, very productive first day. Good morning. Good morning indeed. Let's go continue looking for the spot. For my new base. This is not actually Black Forest. I thought it yesterday was a Black Forest, but look at how small this is. Like, there is nothing in here. Actually, I came to the area where the first boss spawn is. Uh, I'm definitely not ready to... Uh, to, 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 to summon him yet i need to make at least basic armor and i need to make at least a basic bow but here is the guy what does it say hunt his skin yeah the bosses are also going to be modded so that's going to be a lot of fun just not in this video in this video i just want to find a good spot to start my base that's that's all i want Ooh, neck just gave me something blue what the hell i didn't know necks can drop stuff we got magic rag pants. 
Weightless armor 11. I'll take that for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. A mushroom. <laughs> I see a chest in there. Look at that. Treasure. Two star chicken. Oh, <gasps> come back. Come back. No, don't go. I'm gonna hunt you. Please don't go. I have no stamina. No, you're dying. I'm, I'm gonna get you. You're gonna die there, chicken. Boom. What you got? Uh. And I'm out. Oh, I don't want to be a part of that. You guys deal with, with each other. I don't need a. I don't need to be a part of that. I just want to get out of this black forest. <gasps> Two star. Oh, pa, 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 pa. What the hell are these trees? They have some fruits on them. Okay, I'm out of Black Forest. I think I'm safe. And I have chickens. I'm definitely safe. Okay, this looks like a pretty good spot for the base. We're near the water. We're in meadows. And there is a Black Forest nearby. I think it's perfect. And there is a big rune stone. Oh my god, what else do you need in life? I can't die. This is the perfect spot. I can't I can't die in here. Oh <gasps> troll! Oh god. You know what? I'm gonna die like a man. Fighting with my torch in my hand. Are you scared of the torch, huh? 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 Look at that, he's scared. You little scaredy boy. What happened? What happened to the big scary gray, gray dwarf? I broke my hammer. I'm so screwed. I need to build I need to build like a base shelter right now. Oh my god. Now that gives a new meaning to the tiny house, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't even have a door. But at least I saved my location. Guys, I don't know. I'm I'm starting to reconsider this being a good idea for, for the base. I think I think, I think it might be not a great base. Oh my god. I, I need to... I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I'm gonna let you decide. Tell me in the comments. Do you think I should continue building my base here? Or should I move to a different location? Because I, I honestly don't know at this point. Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, you scared me! You're back! Oh, my, 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 my good friend is back. Okay, I will not use the torches. Okay, actually... Actually, I take it back. I will use the torch. Get out. I set him on fire. Get out of the water. Coward. Damn, torch is way more OP than I thought. They can burn people in the water <laughs> for a bit. Get wrecked. I have a mod that allows me to use tools in water. Actually, no, never mind. Oh, we're gonna drown. I kinda wanna beat this guy. I want him to die. He doesn't throw that far. I, I need him to die. Or he's, 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 he's gonna bother me all the time. There you go. Was it that hard? Oh my god. Oh! I just dropped a legendary. Oh. Oh no, that was a rare. Never mind. 
That was that was a pretty terrible hole, let's be honest. All right. This is my base. I just need a door and it's going to be a perfect house. Here we go. This is absolutely magnificent. All right, guys, this is all I got for you for today. Let me know in the comments. You're going to decide. Do I find a different place for the base or do I stay here? Because I kind of feel like I fought for this place. I, I have to stay here, right? It's, it's my place now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you play Val Valheim yourself or maybe you want to try it out after you've seen this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and take care.